All right, what's good, everybody? Rick Wise with the hit maker. Um, shit, I'm in Atlanta, Georgia right now. Chilling for real, for real. We didn't really get shit rolling yet how we wanted it to. Yet. But, I mean, we've been to the studio and shit. We dropped a hard ass track. Produced by my nigga Ghost Walker. Shout out him. Um, and honestly, man, this shit is fucking like. I can't say I don't believe it's real no more. Before we left, I used to doubt it just a teeny bit of shit because you always meet people that say they could do things for you and this, this, and that. But this shit is really real, man. Like, if you could look behind me and shit, like, this is where we living at. Where well, you could look behind me to them tall ass buildings right there, this is like where the penthouses and shit at. That's like where, where the rich motherfuckers live at. Like, it's probably a lot of celebrities over there and shit. Like, I seen Benzino post a picture from over there earlier today. But it feel more real because I'm right here. Like, like that is like a five minute walk from where the fuck I'm at right now. And it's even just a beautiful experience. I get to bring my family out here with me and shit. So that part of my mentalness is still going to be intact or whatever because I do everything for my family. You know what I'm saying? That's the, the main motivation behind everything. I'm just happy they get to come. And um, I don't really know what the fuck. For real, this shit crazy as a bitch. Like, everything just new. It just feel better. We went to this big ass studio shit. Like a warehouse with like mad studios in it and shit. And the engineer was cool enough, you know, for me to let me do my thing in there, do the old chop shop shit to it. That damn song came out crazy. Um, I think we're gonna be releasing Dane video real soon. We having a little technical difficulty with my card or whatever. But the video done. We shot that shit the first day we got here. And um Shout out, especially Strack, that nigga down there holding it down, looking at Chop Shop like, dude, this nigga getting all the money. That nigga Strack down there, boom. But that's how it's supposed to be, though. You know what I'm saying? But I see everybody still doing their thing. Shout out Tay Squiller. You know what I'm saying? He got this track with me called You Seen It Coming. And that definitely plays a major part in everything that's going on right now. Especially that song, because when I make my music, I just be really just rapping and shit. You know what I'm saying? But already, we only been here not even a week, and there's people putting themselves in a certain position where it sounds like that song is about them and shit. Like, like niggas just hating. And that's supposed to happen, but it's real sad that it got to be like that, because we ain't doing nothing extra. We just trying to make it out. <clears throat> And I don't see why nobody would have a problem with niggas who trying to make it out. Especially when you from where we from, when you know it ain't really shit there. But talent. But the opportunity's not there. Like, fuck that shit. But you can keep on hating if you be one of the niggas that stuck. Because I plan on helping anybody I can. That's the type of nigga I am. But we got to get where we trying to get first. But, um, hell yeah, nigga. ATL, Rick Rogers, my nigga Dane. Shit is beautiful, man. You got Marcus Vic, everybody, the whole camp. Shit about to get real turned up out this bitch. They already loving Dame voice. Of course, we knew that shit was gonna happen. I ain't got my chance to perform or none of that shit yet, cause y'all know how I am. I don't care the music. My music hot regardless, so I just wait. You know what I'm saying? My turn. I'm a team player. I always been a team fucking player. But um. Y'all already know what time it is, it's your boy Rick Rob. I'm just giving y'all a little update. And you see that fucking house in the back, that tall ass building? The top floor costs $2.8 million to stay there, son. Like, to buy that crib up there is $2.8 million fucking dollars, man. And I'm right around the corner from it. If that ain't motivation, I don't know what it is. And even though y'all not here, I'm giving y'all the picture for y'all. Y'all could be here and live the experience with me and shit. That's what we're doing. Like, we're filming everything. I got so much footage already. So, documentaries, blogs, and shit, just, just for y'all can experience with us since y'all not here. But that's what it's all about, man. Virginia, y'all keep doing y'all thing. ATL, if y'all see it, we out here. We're going to keep on doing this shit. We're going to make this shit happen. Nigga, it's your boy, Rick Rodgers. And everybody know that. And I'm out this bitch, man. Salute to everybody doing their thing. We out.